Hello dear friends and um, today we'll talk about uh, spiritual materialism. What what's what is spiritual materialism? Well, people uh, don't a lot of people who follow spiritual path don't realize that uh, don't realize that that path is a trap in its own. Yes, they discover new things, but you can discover new things in life as well. Doing, if you get bored of something, you move on to something else. The same thing with spirituality. Um, the problem with with that, uh, people think they're getting more enlightened by following a spiritual path, or learning something, or doing some practices and all sorts of things. But uh, it's like it's like this, you know. I'll tell you an example. A lot of people have noticed that um, that sort of a, like Buddha said: once you cross the ocean of samsara, you throw away the raft. You don't need it anymore. So all the dharmas, all the teachings, everything you learn, you throw it away. You don't need that anymore. But a lot of people get to the other side, pick up the raft on the head and carry it, and, don't, and then don't understand why it feels so heavy. And then they experience all sorts of uh, suffering because they think, oh, what's going on? Like, why, I, I, you know, why should I, you know? That's what I mean. You need to throw everything out, throw, every, throw everything away, all your knowledge, all your experiences, and just realize who you are. And um, how do you do that? Okay. So people on spiritual path always seeking something. And the best answer I can tell you is that a lot of Zen teachers teach or preach or whatever you want to say, is that you seek non-seeking. That's the only thing you do on a spiritual path. You, if you seek something, that means your egoistic self, your image of yourself, which you don't realize who you are yet, even though it's not that you don't realize, people because people deluded, they, they don't see who they are, and they seek something, and by following a spiritual path, they keep, keep on seeking, seeking to, to gain something, and that's a problem. That's a spiritual materialism because you still want to, you still want to have something, or or achieve something like enlightenment. Well, I can tell you the word enlightenment is an illusion on its own. It happened to me. I'm talking from experience. I used to be, uh, but you know, 15 years ago or so, I was like seeking like crazy. I was like, oh, you know, I was going from one teacher to another to, you know, gaining all this knowledge or gaining all this, you know, trying all these new thing, different things. And I was, I was really seeking. I really wanted it, you know, like I said, I want to be enlightened. You know, this is the, this purpose of my life. And then I realized that this, actually this enlightenment, what they call it, it's an illusion in itself. You created some sort of a goal for yourself. And uh, this goal is just another expression of your egoistic self, of your, of your emotions and your thoughts and your thinking mind. So this is, um, this is very, very dangerous because um, the best thing to do if you seek something, if you truly seek something, try to seek non-seeking. I repeat that again. Seek non-seeking. So what you want to do is if you if you really want to get something, make sure you seek to get rid of that. Get rid of that seeking. And uh, this is a spiritual materialism and um, it creates a lot of problems for you. Just another another delusions, another illusions, another another uh, misunderstanding of uh, and it takes you away from from who you are as well truly so to truly understand yourself uh, you need I think well 
you can pick up a method but you don't need to stick with it you know once you had enough just let it go but a lot of people don't do that I, I noticed that a lot of people who become monks and 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 they they already walked away from uh from uh they already quit they um um they monastery they walked away they went and living life but they still still live like a monk they still have uh, they're still wearing robes they're still practicing meditation why why do you need to do that it's like people uh there's a zen saying uh you climb a thousand feet pole and on the top of the pole you sit there you can't climb anymore and you just won't let it go you know you just sit there and you're stuck so uh, this uh, this brings me to the spiritual materialism you know if you if you do something if you seek something seek non seeking that's the only that's the only answer i have for you it's the best way anyway i'll leave it at that and uh thanks for watching